Welcome back to my channel, and this is the number one reason for staying at this campground. You're looking at the Atlantic Ocean, and it's not a drive away, it's a walk away. Just steps away from the campground, this is the view you get, and you get direct access to the beach. We're gonna walk right up the sand dune, and right over the hill, you can see where the campground is, and as you can see, it is steps away. We are in the Outer Banks, North Carolina, and believe it or not, there are tons of campground in this area, and I feature quite a few of them on my channel. We're gonna focus on this one here today. And what you're looking at right now, again, is an overview of the campground, but we're gonna take you around the area, so you're gonna be able to see exactly what the area has to offer so that you can get the best bang for your money, and also you can know exactly what to expect in the area. We're also gonna take you all around the campground to the bathrooms, we're gonna tell you how much we paid, what the sites you, you should uh, expect to get and what are some of the downsides of staying in this campground because it's not all positive but for the most part you're going to have a good time and I'm going to take you all the way through. If you are going to invest a week or a few days of your time staying at this campground, I think it's important for you to know what to expect and that's why I made this video so let's get started. The first thing is the administrative building. Don't expect a lot there. When I was there, I didn't really see anybody there. It was kind of like a self-check-in and a self-check-out. So if you had a problem, don't look to go to this building and expect for it to be solved. There may be somebody there, but likely there's not gonna be anyone there. So this campground has a bunch of loops. And the first loop is gonna be the tent camping. And you're only allowed two tents per campsite and I believe two vehicles. And the campsites are pretty standard. If you've ever been tent camping before, it comes with a few amenities and we're gonna go over all that. But I like the sites because you get the you get the impression that you're kind of like on a beach and you know, it's got that beachy feel. So I really like this campground. I liked how it looked. I liked the people there. Everyone came to go on vacation. It had a positive attitude, so it was great. So let me run through what a standard tent camping site has. It has a concrete pad, a place for you to pitch your tent, a place for a picnic table, and this right here is your grill. It's the only place that you can have a fire and it must be charcoal. One last thing I forgot to mention, expect to pay about $30 a night for this campsite. So let's move on over to the bathroom. The thing about the bathroom that I absolutely like is this water filtration system so you can load up on fresh water. And also this bathroom was super clean. I checked all of them out for this video and the bathrooms were in excellent condition. Now, moving over to the shower, the only thing I didn't like about the shower, well, there are two things. Number one, you had to constantly pull down in order for the water to come and you could not adjust the water temperature. And I like my showers hot, so the water was warm, but it wasn't hot like I necessarily like it, but what are you gonna do? You're camping. So now we're gonna transition over to the second half of the campsite, and this is where we have the trailers and other RVs. Now, if you're driving an RV, the RV counts as one of your two vehicles. So, you know, if you, you know, a lot of the campers came there and that was a problem because they had to park the other vehicle in, in the other parking lot and they had problems. So just keep that in mind. And also there is no place for your gray water to empty out. So I'm gonna drive through here and kind of show you what it's all about, but it pretty much has the same things that the tent campsite did with the exception of it has electricity port. This campsite is fairly cheap, so there are few amenities. There's no swimming pool, playground, sandbox, uh, moon bounce, none of that. You're just gonna get a plain campsite, but it's pretty picturesque in my opinion. This was not a problem when I was there, but some of the other campers complained at other times that there was problems with bugs, particularly biting flies and mosquitoes. So if you're gonna come, make sure you bring bug repellent. Let's switch gears and talk about what there is to do in and around the camp area. When it comes to a convenience store, there's not one immediately close by. You're looking at maybe a 10 minute drive. If you want to go to the beach, the beach is literally a five to 10 minute walk away depending on where your campsite is on the campground. I personally enjoy the beach. The thing I did not like about the beach was that there were lots of trucks that were parked on the beach and there were lots of people who were fishing. So I didn't feel very comfortable having my kids go in the water. 
Other than flying kites, the only thing else that I found interesting to do on the campsite is to climb the sand dunes. This area of the country is known for these sand mountains and they are surrounding the campsite. So if you have kids, this right here is gonna be fun for them. And if you like hiking as an adult, it's gonna be fun for you as well. If you're into recreational fishing, there is no campground that's better suited for you because directly across the street is a marina where you can rent and charter boats for the afternoon, morning, or the entire day. Also, there is lots of other water sports, so if you have watercrafts, I absolutely recommend you bring it. If that were not enough, just four miles away is Bodie Island Lighthouse, which offers you spectacular views of the area. 